go broke at a nursing home. If I could tell you how to save, I don't know, four, five, six thousand dollars a month, would you listen? Yeah, you would. And you go to a free workshop to learn all about it. The news is good for you, uh, thanks to the team at Elder Advisors. Part of that team is from senior, uh, senior helpers, and that's Nancy Galloway. Nancy, they picked you for a reason. You're the best of the best. There's a number of entities who do what you do, but apparently you do it very well because Larry says, I need the best on my team. So for those who are not aware, tell them what Senior Helpers does, what you accomplish. Great. We're a non-medical home care company, so we have a wide group of caregivers that can go into seniors' home and help them as little or as much as needed. So um, we're not medical, but we range from what we call companion care, which is cooking, cleaning, transportation, med reminders, all the way to personal care, which is more bathing, incontinence, transfers, things like that. We specialize in Alzheimer's and dementia, and um, we train our caregivers in that area uh, comprehensively because, you know, that's a big issue. In the industry right now, mm -hmm. um, and so you know that's what we do. All right, senior helpers again. Now, if someone wants your help, senior helpers, they don't necessarily have to go through elder advisors. That you're part of that team, but you're also a separate entity in your own. Right? That's I'll correct. I mean, we get calls all the time. Um, you know, if clients are, or families are noticing that their client is changing, or their I'm sorry, their family member is changing and not able to, you know live independently as well mm -hmm. as they did before. Maybe that's because they're losing weight. Um, obviously, they're not eating as well, preparing meals. Um, maybe they're not managing their medications correctly. Um, you know, maybe they can't drive any longer, so they need someone to drive them to appointments, get their hair done, things like that. Those are all things that we can help with. Um, another area that is real important is as clients are coming out of the hospital or out of rehab and they're transitioning home, that's such an important time for, for families to involve us because we can help keep those clients safe at home and through that transitional period so they don't end up back in the hospital because 20% of patients that are discharged from the hospital end up back in the hospital. Okay, you know, this so. all, you see, as you can tell, a high level of expertise. Tim, it seems to me with Elder Advisors, the mission is this to be turnkey. Whatever your issue is, whether it be financial, with selling the home, right. maybe as she said, maybe you want some in-home care or, or whatever you need or don't need, you want to be the answer. It's like, come to us, we'll take care of everything. Yes. You know, no one wants to go to a nurse home. It happens, you know, and we have a, a group like Nancy's who they'll, if you want to stay in your home as long as possible, you know, they're there to do that. But, you know, sometimes you have to go. You need a higher level of care. And the folks come to us and we see people on uh, two different levels. There's pre-planning, then there's crisis. And a lot of those crisis people, you know, they got a relative who's in the nurse uh, at the hospital, going to be discharged next week to a nursing home. Don't know what to do, or they've been in the nursing home for two or three months, and they're starting to pay that seven, eight thousand dollars a month, and starting to panic. Yeah, you said it yesterday. Oh, it's never too late, right? Correct. It's never too late. It's probably never too early either. I mean, to get ahead of it and be proactive and to have power of attorney. And I know Steve has left us, but, mm -hmm. but power of attorney is important, isn't it? Because yes. if mom or dad, and we hope it does not happen, but if they get to where they can't really make decisions on their own, it's important to have that power of attorney, correct? Uh, correct. And, you know, if you came in to see us, and one of the first questions was asked, do you have power of attorney? And if the answer is no, there's not too much we can do for you because you know, we need the person who's there to make the decisions to, to work with. And if, you're, if you don't have that power of attorney, the situation is going to turn bad pretty quick. Nancy, with senior helpers, how does the process work if, if someone, as you said, perhaps um, over the holidays or whenever they notice mom or dad are s slipping a little bit, and perhaps mom and dad is in agreement, I need some help, do they, is it an interview process? Do you look for the right fit? How does that work? Yeah, the first step is to call us, our number is 690-2648, and we will, the first step is for us to come out and do an assessment to figure out what exactly the needs are and how we can help, if we can help. Um, and then from there, we look at, you know, budget, because a lot of people say, oh, I can't afford home care. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we can set up a plan that's within everyone's budget. And there's options, too. Long-term care pays for our services. Um, if they're a veteran, there's some help they can get directly from the VA um, that's paid for by the VA. And there's a pension through the VA that we can help them get as well. And that's even good for a surviving spouse, mm -hmm. which a lot of people aren't aware of. And that pension is solely for home care. So we're experts in that area as well. We know how to fill out that paperwork, and we can help families get that pension to help afford, be able to afford care. So that's the first step. And then past that, you asked about the matching. That's so important because, you know, it is a, a very 
private thing when sure. you're bringing people into your home to work. And it's important that we match the caregiver to the client or it's sure. not going to be successful. Um, you know, the family has to be comfortable, the senior has to be comfortable, and we take that very seriously at Senior Helpers. We try to match, you know, not just by skill set, but also by personality and try to make a good match. And we, we, tell, we tell the seniors we want an open line of communication. If, if it's not a good fit, all you got to do is call us and, you know, we'll try to find someone that is a better fit for okay. you. Okay, so we've talked about personal care. We talked a little bit about the legal side as well. Tim, all of that will be covered at the free workshop. Tell folks again where to go. That's Monday and Tuesday. You've got Monday here in Louisville and Tuesday in Indiana, right? Monday so night, 6 p.m. at uh, the Hilton Garden Inn on Crittenden Drive, then Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. at the Hampton Inn in Clarksville. Okay, do you know who, who will be the featured speaker, the keynote speaker, as we say? At, at the, the keynote speaker will be uh, Steve Langdon, the elder law attorney, and he'll explain a little bit about the process, the Medicaid process. Then Denise Manicky Ice will explain a little bit, go into a little bit more detail what the, the, the Medicaid process is. Something we haven't talked about, but I think is probably important to both of you, is that you mentioned it, you touched upon a little bit, Nancy, though, is, is the personal care and the compassionate side of it. This is not just a business decision. This is, this is a loved one. Right. And this is a family member. This is someone you love dearly. So that's important because I know, Tim, that we've had you, Larry, Steve, whenever you're needed. Uh, if it's time, hey, we need to talk now. You guys are willing to make that move. All right. Uh, I have clients call me on Saturday afternoons. You know, I'll, we return our, your phone calls as quickly as possible, you know. And, yeah, we're accessible seven days a week. Same uh, here. Same right. thing. Uh, Nancy, before we let you go here, okay. Things people should look for in mom and dad. If, you, you know, you think, I, don't, I can't really tell. I don't see them often enough. We don't have, is, is it a lot of it, is it the memory? Is it the weight loss or maybe a little bit of everything? I mean, it's a combination of things. It can be the weight loss. I mean, that's a good indicator that they're not preparing meals the way they used to, and they might need a little bit of help in that area with shopping and, and preparing the meals. Um, it's if they're not managing their medications correctly. Um, you know, we suggest that people put their medications in a, a planner so they can see quickly if a day's missed, you mm -hmm. know, um, but that's something to watch for. Um, not paying bills, that's a sign of some memory loss, um, you know, so things like that, yeah. Yeah, and if you have noticed that, then again, uh, elder advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. It can be an expensive endeavor, or you can keep the majority of that money in your pocket. Tim, before we go, we're going to throw up the, all the information once again. Yes. And if you would, invite everyone. It is free, and tell them how to sign up, too. You yes. go to freeworkshops.com to sign up. It's uh, Monday night, 6 p.m., the Hilton Garden Inn, Crittenden Drive, and 6, uh, 10 a.m. Tuesday morning at the Hampton Inn in Clarksville. All right. Elder advisors, they got everything covered. It is turnkey. Nancy, I want to thank you with Senior Helpers. Thank you very much Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having on. me. Tim, it's always good to see you. See you. And tell Larry I said hello. I will. I'm sure he will be entertaining, so you'll see him Monday. <laughs> and we missed Tuesday. Larry today. We have. <laughs> kind of, sort of. <laughs> no, we missed him. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. Have a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you get a little bit of sunshine, and we'll see you Monday right here on Wave 3 Listens Live.